Episode nice. four. That was, a, that was the Minecraft noise, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. Episode four. Episode four. What milestone? The revenge of, of the, the fall, fall. fallen. May no, the fallen. Fourth, may the fallen be with you. Yeah. Yeah. This is a Star Wars episode. It's not. It really isn't. No. It's not. We don't know what it is. If it is Star Wars, yeah. More than Mario? I don't, I don't know. You, then you're going to do a Yoda impression throughout? No. I, I think, can't really do Yoda. I think we oh, it was just Chewbacca, wasn't it? It was just Chewy. Oh, they didn't hear your Chewy. They didn't hear my Chewy. They might hear your Chewy today. If they get Star Wars. Yeah, if they get Star Wars, I'm going to spin the old um, the old wheel. It's it's have quite heavily modified, weather damaged. Have, oh, it's raining at the moment. Have you um, done yeah. rain modifications over the week or anything? No, no, but the rain has sort of modified it in a way that oh. it's quite hard to read the names on it now. It's all, yeah. why, so why? He's, he's landed on Ricky, and I've I've never, never Ricky heard of the film called Ricky. That looks no. like a, that looks like an O. Rocky. That makes more sense actually, because that's a film. That's a film. Yeah. Ricky wasn't. No, Ricky's not. <laughs> See, weather damaged. Weather damaged. Yeah. Rocky. Um, have you seen Rocky? Uh, I think I have. Yeah, years ago. Years ago. Yeah, like a long time Back ago. in the 70s when it came Back out. Back in the 70s, when it came out. 76. Uh, so I think I was training Stallone at the time. Oh, were you? And I, I, I was busy. Couldn't really see it. Couldn't really yeah, get out to see it. Yeah, couldn't really understand him either. Really. Or get the words out to say it. <laughs> Just like him. Just like him. Wow, you were wow. really close. We were. So. Yeah, he was Yeah, best man at the wedding I've had. What? He just turned up. You know, he just turned up and just gave a speech. <laughs> That's Arnold, isn't it? it was, I think yeah, they all um, sort of, you know, that was close mold to together those 70s, 80s beefcakes, German or otherwise. <laughs> so you're putting Dolph Lundgren in on this as well. Yeah, 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 Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren, Mr. T. Yeah, Mr. T. Um, Sylvester Stallone. Perfect. Arnie. Arnie, of course. He's the... Leader, ringleader. You know, yeah, he's the cornerstone of this all. The glue, or some might say the bicep that holds them all together. Wow. Stoic. It is. I love it. Um, have you ever boxed? Have I ever boxed? Yes. I did like a sparring thing once, yeah. Once? You did a sparring thing? I, uh, yeah, yeah, once. You should have seen the other guy. Did you? Why? I don't know. <laughs> Why should I have seen the other That's guy? some people say. Uh, yeah. And you you should have seen him. <laughs> I did, I was there. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, I wasn't. You weren't there. No, I wasn't. So you should have seen him. I should have seen the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I didn't even see you. Uh, Rocky, known for... Have you, hang on, wait, have you ever done sparring? A couple of things. Yeah, I did martial arts for years and years and years. Oh, is that why you're jacked? That's why I'm fucking ripped. I, oh, did you invite Limp Biscuit? Yeah, Fred Durst is here. <laughs> Special guest Fred Durst. How you doing? Um, Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know, that was Mickey Mouse. Yeah, yeah. It's very close, actually. Very Fred close. Durst and Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Pluto. That's pretty much Limp Bizkit. Uh oh, Should we call Fred the RSPCA Durst. on Mickey? No, Pluto loves it. Yeah, they are both animals as well. Yeah, is it? Disney, is it just for furries? Discuss. <laughs> Not today's episode. No. Not today's episode. Rocky, <laughs> god damn it. Sorry. Rocky is known Sorry. for a couple of things, right? Sylvester Stallone. I think it's his breakout, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. He plays yeah. a homeless man. He plays... Does he play a homeless man? Yeah, he's homeless in it. Oh, and then, and then boxing. And then some steps. And, and then... Bit of music. Like, <laughs> arms in the air. <laughs> what song's that? That's... Um, Simpsons theme tune. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, you know, it's his theme oh, tune. That's that was his... actually very good. Was it really? Yeah, that was actually very good. Thank you. Um, Han... What's his name? Hank... Azara. Hank Azara would be yeah, proud. He would be proud. Um, are there any other big cast members in this? Because when people think about Rocky, they only ever really say Sylvester Sloan. We've got Burt Young, who I've, I'm sure I've seen his old Carl face. Weathers. Carl Weathers. Carl Weathers is a pretty big He plays memory. Creed. And Talia Shire. Yeah, they've got um, normally the opponent yeah. is a pretty big actor. Our man Dolph. Yeah, Dolph was in the follow up. He was. Uh, Rocky, Rocky Earth. How do you feel Rocky about Rogue. the Creed films? The what films? Creed. Assassin's Creed. That's the only Creed I know. Is it? And the band Creed. <laughs> Everyone's favourite band. And Creed from the Creed. Office US. Yeah, I oh actually. Yeah, That's it. I, I haven't seen any of the Creed films. I haven't seen any of the Rocky films. I'm not really into my boxing, you know. No, not not whatsoever. Not since, not since you know the Norm. days. Not since Norm <laughs> boxing the guerrilla soldiers away. Um, the talented soldier. 
Some would say the best this nation's had. Me? No. Oh, Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren. Fuck me. Um, okay, so who should we put in Rocky's place? Being a homeless person... We don't know what the genre is yet. That's, that's, a, that's, a, wheel. Very good, uh, that's a very good point. <laughs> we now spinning. always forget the second wheel. Uh, Considering you built it, you'd think you'd remember it. It's too small. It needs to grow. That's, that's, it, well, at the moment, that's it's 15 my fault, really. feet. What, are you going to make, make it bigger than the other one? I think so. Yeah? I think so, yeah. I think oh. it's about time. Okay, then. Wow. Yeah. Mystery. Rocky oh, is a mystery Rocky film. Rocky is a mystery film. Okay, so what, he gets punched in the face oh, and doesn't know who did it? Ma- yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, I'm getting... Did you see, like, the original Daredevil with Ben Affleck? Yeah, I, I wish I hadn't. What was that basketball scene? What are you on about? It was great. Huh? It was great. Huh? No, it fucking wasn't. I'll retire from this podcast. It was fucking amazing, film. It was terrible, but it was brilliant. No, there were like in. There's that, have you, do you remember that basketball scene? It was yeah, I do. Yeah. Death by cuts took it and used yeah. it. Shout out to Death by Cuts. Yeah, amazing. Because it was just god. There was a dance scene in the middle of a what? Yeah, what? I mean, it was a bit capoeira-y. No, it was a bit shit. But his father dies. Yeah, so does. And he was a boxer. This is what I'm getting at. Oh, okay. His All father right. was Jack the Devil or something. Um, and he died. He got beaten up in an alley after a boxing match because he didn't lose the boxing match on purpose. So Kingpin came around and like, you know. Did you play Kingpin? Crushed his skull. Oh, Michael. Y- yeah. What's his name from uh, Green, um... Green Mile? Yeah, Green it was Mile. him. Yeah. Um, Michael Clark Duncan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, him. Look at that. And he was... the, the infinite Brilliant. knowledge. Brilliant. I can just pull names, mate. Yeah? Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Pull another name. Karen Gillen. Nice. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> kind of cheating. That's last week's name, but that's fine. Uh, so we're getting Karen Gillen to play Rocky. You're going to go for, you, you no, go for a go female for a spin. Million dollar baby spin. Oh, God. Yeah. That won an Academy Award, I think, actually. Did it? Shouldn't have. Wasn't that good? I don't know. I don't remember. I thought I thought it did. It was just all right. Was it? Yeah. Anyway. Um. Okay. So I think we should put a female in this role. I think we should change it completely from Rocky to like Wendy or something. Mm. Wendy Balboa. Wendy Balboa. It doesn't really have the same touch as like Rocky, because Rocky makes you think of rocks. Wendy makes you think of the fast food chain in America. Okay, so what's a strong female boxer name? That's two syllables. Um, so sits in this. I don't know. That's a hard question. Roxy. Nice. That that should have been my first guess. Really, that should as opposed to Wendy. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of left field. Yeah. Kind of tangential. Uh, Roxy, thank you. Good word. Roxy, played by the woman that plays Miss Trunchbull in. Okay, Matilda. I'm gonna stop you right there. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. We're not no. doing that. You're welcome to stop me. No. Who would you put in in Roxy's place then? Well, you'd have to go for someone who's been like. You could either go for someone really left field and hope that they're like you'd get a trainer in and train them to be, you know, like pull a Jonathan Krasinski kind of like shredded all of a sudden like fucking yeah. oh you're a superhero okay, okay okay or you can go for the obvious and be like oh gamora <laughs> like, <laughs> like zoe saldana okay so we're going for an unexpected uh bulk up. yeah so my my first would be obviously tilda swinton <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah no could you imagine her bulked up oh gosh how strange would that look yeah, really weird no i think we should go for someone um I don't know. I, I said, it's a very tough question. How do you pick a kind of... You could go for the, the glaringly obvious. Who do you think I'm going to say? Rebel Wilson. No. Oh, <laughs> No, God. not yet. She can, we'll cast her later. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, but we'll not no. cast her later. <laughs> I was thinking like Charlize Theron. Oh, give it a rest <laughs> with that woman. She's great, though. We need someone that can equally play a homeless person oh, and a world true. rank boxer. Charlize Theron. You're right. <laughs> I think she's the only woman for this. God damn it. Charlie's goddamn Theron. Okay, no. Okay. No, no, I think we should give it to her. Like, it's what she does. It's in her wheelhouse. It is. So let's let's have more fun casting her opponent. The creed of this. Rebel Wilson. Rebel Wilson. <laughs> and she's crud, not creed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Rox- Roxy no, versus I crud. actually, I think I know who I want to cast as the opponent. Okay. Sylvester Stallone. Oh my god. <laughs> you pulled a fast one on me. <laughs> I like it. 
Um, no, I actually think that I... Re- no, we're pushing for an, a, a future that's based around equality. They should be able to fight each other for a championship. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> um, I think that the opponent should be... Um... Well, it's a mystery. There isn't an opponent. Okay, what's the mystery here then? Uh, I don't know. So I guess... Um... Or corruption Ooh, in the boxing boy. ranks, yeah. where like a bo- the opponent that she was supposed to be facing to get the title, someone gets killed or something, and then the title's interrupted and they can't, and then it like you know a deep web of intrigue into trying to find out who had done the thing and corrupted. I'm the intrigued, system. and I sort of want John Hurt to be in this, even though he's dead. Yeah, we can cast posthumously. Posthumously, uh, is, okay. If you really, I think so. I think he should be the guy that's uncovering it all. The kind of weird guy who visits. Oh, he's no, he's the janitor. That. He's the janitor. J.K. Simmons. Oh, on J.K. Simmons for that part because J.K. Simmons did a very similar part in Dark Skies, out of nowhere. Weird like sub alien film. He just did. <laughs> and he plays this weird like photographer who's. Collecting evidence, strange. really strange, strange for the guy that's you know. So um, I can't think of the word. I'm what's the word I'm looking for? He's on a pedestal in Hollywood as the yellow M M&M. and M, and that to me, that's, good. <laughs> that's his calling. Yeah, is what you're saying that's what, that, that's what he's known for. Yeah, they, what what else is he known for? God knows, don't know. Yeah, he was in a Marvel film once. Maybe. Yeah, well, something about clarinets or drums. <laughs> Listen, I only know him as the yellow M M&M. and M. So, so yellow M M&M and M is the <laughs> the yellow M M&M and M is the janitor in this that that knows that something. Yeah, going he's on. like he's trying he to can see. He, he, he's like following the pattern. I'll let you have that if you let me cast John Hurt again. Okay, fine. Okay, as the opponent, we're making Charlie's a dog Theron. shit film. Charlie, Charlie's the Ron is fighting John Hurt for the championship. Fuck me. All right, fine. Yep, let me go. Her so opponent. You're gonna dies. let. You're gonna let opponent died and John Hurt is the stand-in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is John Hurt a boxer? And no, absolutely not. No. Brilliant. But he's a kung fu expert. Oh. Mm. So has he grown his moustache out? Oh, yeah. Like... Fu Manchu. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Fully. Yeah. Very cool. Very okay, cool. Okay. I, oh, I can get behind that. But, okay, so if we're casting John Hurt, that means we're actually going to need a body double to film him posthumously because that's how that works. Michael... What? Kirk Douglas or whatever yeah, <laughs> Why? Why him? I don't know, because it's the exact opposite of John Hurt. The little I, white man. Oh, uh, okay. I was going to go for, like, someone who clearly been doing this a while, like Nolan North. Ah, uh, you like Nolan North. I love you? Nolan you North. Love, you love him. But I don't know if he actually... Yeah, I don't know. That, Left... that could be good, yeah. So, oh, so You're we're thinking going for... young, John Hurt. Well, yeah, but I don't know why there'd be a fight involving Charlize Theron and... <laughs> and an old John Hurt. An old John Hurt in a mystery <laughs> film about the conspiracies of boxing. Um, I think that's the mystery. I... <laughs> that's, that's for the watching. Why have I been put up against this? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's more of, why am I watching this? What oh. am I watching? It's an experience. Whoa, it's a meta film. It's 4D. Right. Sight, sound, smells. And, okay, what kind? What Taste. smells? Taste. What are we tasting? Every now and then, something flashes up in the cinema. Right, you open your mouth, and a water pistol sprays a mystery liquid in your mouth. <laughs> mystery liquid. Like, oh, there's a fight going on. That sweat. <laughs> you better. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, four D. This is the future. That's cool. Yeah, after we bring John Hurt back to and, life. Yeah, that is our yeah. that's our priority. Is to okay. bring him back. I think this film is dog shit. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, I'll see you at the Emmys. <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, you will. Me and John Hurt will be there. Me and John Hurt's hologram. Okay, next film. Oh, it's a corker. It's a fucking corker. I haven't seen oh, it. Full Metal Jacket. Stanley I haven't, Kubrick. I haven't seen it. Classic. Uh, it's disgusting. I haven't yep. seen a single Stanley Kubrick film. I think I'm waiting for like... A moment in time where I can watch all of them. All of them there aren't well. that many. No, no, there's, there's like have seven. Been. Yeah, yeah. So you haven't seen Two Thousand Miles Space Odyssey? I think I might have seen it years ago, but no. The Shining? No. Clockwork Orange? No. Eyes Wide Shut? No. Full Metal Jacket? You, you know when I said? Sa- oh, you know when I said I haven't seen? Yeah. So Doctor any, Strange Love? You know when I said I haven't seen I any of his films? Yeah. 
Um, I haven't seen any of his films because I'm familiar with his work. The Shining. You know. Oh wait, no. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Um, there's uh, there's a lot for you to watch then. A lot for you to enjoy. I have. Yeah, I, I'm I need excited. To, I want. I think the one I want to start with, the Clockwork Orange, then Space Odyssey and The Shining, and kind of work my way through. Go Although, for it. Yeah, I Go do need it. to. Do, do you know that. anything about the film? Um, no. Is it a commentary on psychosis? Ah. Uh, I think so. Yeah, it's a bit of PTSD. It's sort of like a like a, a weird, strange thriller, but also war film based in Vietnam. You've got that classic American drill sergeant. You know, that's where it comes. Oh, from. Yeah. show me a war face guy. Yeah, um, yeah. So I think that would be a great person to cast first. Should we get a, a new genre for it? Okay, yeah, we should. Well, remember because I forgot. Yeah, there we go. You always forget. Yeah, I do. Huh? It's because the wheels. Where are not. we? We are in. And we're gonna. Go for horror. Horror, which it already sort of sets up for, I think. Yeah? I think so, because other films touch close on the whole Vietnam thing. Like, if you think of Apocalypse Now, there's yeah. sort of a weird there is a horror, horror sense. vibe to it, especially towards the end. Yeah. Especially, um, like, Apocalypse Now. Yeah. That that becomes very kind of intense and dark towards the end of the film, and that's yeah. like... <laughs> Is that, that not what I just said? I don't know. Did you say that? I think that's just what I just said. We'll have to, oh, we'll have to find out. I don't remember. I don't. Re- I must have blacked out. Yeah. I think I was thinking. Yeah. No, because I think I was thinking about what you said, yeah. or maybe I was thinking about other Vietnam films. I think you are. I saw that film actually, and that I agree. We did. We got the chance to actually see, see it in, in cinema, cinema, like a reshoot back in the day, it. back in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. We were lucky. Oh, I'm so glad we did. Final cut. I can't believe I just repeated everything you said. I know it's that's, quite impressive. Yeah, no. Well, what can I say? I'm a genius. Really, you are a genius. Thanks, man. Welcome. Three hours long, the film ish. Like oh, depending oh, on the I, cut. Not yeah. a full metal jacket. Apocalypse Now. We're talking about the better Vietnam. We're talking film about now. the better Vietnam film now. But we'll go back to full metal jacket, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah. we we'll have to go back to that film now. <laughs> <laughs> You're just on for the ride, aren't you? Uh, I don't know. Horror film. Full metal jacket. Yeah, I haven't seen this film, so it's hard for me to comment. Okay, okay, okay. It's um... I actually, I can honestly say I don't know anything about this film other than the scene where the bald guy is sitting in the cell yeah. and he's like in the toilet. Yeah, yeah, and he's du- okay, so doing ba- something. I can't even remember what. The main part of the film is them training to become Vietnam soldiers. Yeah, okay, they're all getting together. They're getting their nicknames like Private Joker, Private whatever, blah blah blah. It's all about like the drill sergeant and that dynamic. What was yours? Mine? Yeah, yours. Private Privates. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. Yes. Um, and it's more about like the the mental strain that that section takes up on it. You okay. know, the parents go for war. And there's, yeah. of course, there's that guy who eventually blows his head off in a bathroom. Like That's reciting, seen it. But fine. reciting drills like, yeah. as he's going. And then there's a brief bit at the end where it's, you know, the actual war bit. But they're in okay. Vietnam. So really, it's like a psychotic... This We're casting this as like a psychosis thriller. Yeah. So who is the intense drill sergeant that's oh, kind of driving these people insane? We'd need to pick someone kind of commanding. Yeah. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. He would be perfect for this, but we've already cast him today, so I'm going to say no. Yeah, I think maybe... No, someone commanding, someone power... Yeah, someone powerful. Yeah. Someone really like... When they walk into the room, that's it. All eyes are on them. I, I currently have my head in my hands because I feel like this is... A... Rebel Wilson. There we go. Rebel Wilson, the drill sergeant. <laughs> Do you reckon Rebel Wilson could shout at you into a psychotic state? I don't reckon she'd have to shout. No. She'd just have to enter the room. You're like, right, to... I'm off to the bathroom. Yeah. Where's my rifle? Yeah. Or, right, I'm off. I'm just off. Yeah, I'm just off. I'm just leaving. Yeah, I just quit. Excuse me, Rebel. Sergeant Rebel to you. <laughs> sergeant Wilson. <laughs> Um, I think... Okay, so... I've got a feeling like De Niro or someone oh, would be good for this. The man who caved and went to comedy. Yeah, what happened there? Oh, I don't know. I think he got... Meet the fuckers. What happened there? Yeah. Meet the parents. No. What occurred? Bigger, bigger question. Dirty grandpa. Oh, what happened? Yeah. That that wasn't actually his dick, was it? Lost Last Vegas? Oh, I haven't seen that. What happened? What happened? I think he just got old. He gave up. I just... I don't know. But... He did he's appear trying, in Joker. He's trying his best now. Yeah, he did appear in Joker. He also did The Irishman. He's doing another film now. But really... With Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. Scorsese directing. Oh. And De Niro's in it. That's going to be a spicy meatball. He was in Limitless. 2008. Was he really? I don't remember that. Yeah. He's like... 
I haven't seen that film as much as you have. Oh, what a great film. What a it great is. film. It's one of the favourites. Yeah, it is. It is. Anyway, okay, so Robert De Niro. De Niro, he's driving these people insane. These these young... Um, I reckon even now, in, like, I reckon even now he could do that. Yeah. yeah. De Niro, I'm happy with that. Fine. Absolutely. Okay, who are the young impressionable whelps? The whelps. <laughs> um, oh, I did have someone that I wanted to put in the... You know what? Adam Sandler? I know he's not Oh, no, fine. But... I, I can trust I, I, that because after watching Uncut Gems... Yeah, this, all his Safdie brother roles have been really good. I think Uncut Gems was Safdie brothers. I don't know. Um, and the same with the Mayorowitz. Oh, yeah. The Ma- I haven't seen that either, but I've seen... Oh, good film. Uncut Gems was proper good. Uh, I think I think he could play quite like the breakdown role. Maybe quite the lead. old now though. He is maybe a young. Um, you can't recast a young Adam Sandler. Lil Nicky. Lil, oh God no. Okay. No, um, he only got good with age, didn't he? Got it. Go on. I want to cast Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. He's not a spring chicken now either, though, is he? No, but he's younger than Adam Sandler. Correct. Let's go even younger then. The, Liam, you could go for like someone obvious Liam. like Liam Hemsworth or, you know. Oh, I don't like Liam I don't Hemsworth. like him either. But it's, fuck. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, fine. Let's think further afield then. Who who else is there? Toby Maguire. Okay, who else can we think of that we could cast? <laughs> Maybe they hear me. Toby Maguire? Sir, excuse me, sir. Could Toby Maguire fill this role, sir? Anything. I can't think of a single name. No, me neither. <laughs> Same type of guy is not. You yeah, because you just picked this. a forty-five-year-old man, which is He's forty-five now. Some of that. That's worrying, isn't it? No, no, it's just age. It's just time. <laughs> just time works. Christ, uh, young actors. I'm trying to think of the cast of like Black Panther. Oh, oh he's got one. He's got one. Shia LaBeouf. Fuck, you've done it. He's, he's done it again, boys. He's Wrap lead. it up. He's, he's done it. Lead. He's our lead. Shave his head. Oh, and shave his head. Lead. He's already. Oh, I love that. I love that. So this drill sergeant, De Niro, the drill sergeant, is literally just driving these young, impressionable people. The other guy in it is Ezra Miller. Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we've got to give them private names. Based on what we think the role they would fit. Uh, okay. I reckon Shah would be like private mama's boy or something. Oh, you, you're going to yeah. take him like Fury again. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, that's a private mama's boy. Yeah, Fine. Yeah. Um... Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller, that I just love that cold from watching um we need to talk about Kevin. I have seen that. I'm yeah, just struggling. We watched to it. It's the one with Tilda Swinton in and he's the like psychotic son. Oh my word, yeah. That was yeah. Him. Okay. Um like So what private name would you give him? What's he, what's his name in this? I well, you'd have to cast it for the time, which is Vietnam. Yeah. So I'd go for like private loon, like yeah, Lunatic, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Looney. yeah. Okay, but still, he gets he gets driven insane, or maybe he is being manipulated by De Niro to oh, kill off the rest of the people in yeah. this platoon. Yeah, maybe. But what's his motive? What's, the motive? what's De Niro, De Niro's motive? He's actually against the war in Vietnam. Oh shit! Okay, okay, yeah, and he's just trying to destroy it from, from the inside. Yeah, from the inside out. He is Vietnamese. I like where you're Whoa, going. With this. I didn't say I that. I like where you're going with this. He's Vietnamese. <laughs> I don't know if it's politically correct, Tom. I didn't say we it. Can, uh, cast De Niro as a Vietnamese. Vietnamese, Robert De Niro, and. <laughs> I can imagine it now. I can't. Vietnamese, Robert De Niro, <laughs> in a horror retelling of Full Metal Jacket. Did we change the name of it? No, just a little bit. Just, a little. How? just change one of the words to make it more horror y. Okay. Full Metal Devil. Gay. Oh, why? What? Why? Why what? Why Full Metal Gay? No, I'm saying Devil is lame. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said that. Not Full Metal Gay. I was thinking, that's not, we're going to have to cut all of this now. No, that sounds like an awesome robotic night at like, like at the <laughs> does, Cliff does actually, yeah. Yeah, Full Metal Gay. Full Metal, yeah. Nice. That's actually Schwarzenegger's there and his, you know, tighty whities No, he's not. Okay. Is he a representative? No, probably. I think he is, maybe. I'm just thinking about big beefcake oiled up 
in a gay bar. <laughs> Not about the podcast think, you're presenting. No, I think about it often. This is completely <laughs> tangential. Um, okay, fine. Uh, full metal or... Uh, full... full... I've got it. Go on. I've got it. It's actually just a sequel. Like oh. uh, uh, a reboot sequel. You know how you get like... Okay. So it's like full metal jacket. Yeah. Rezipped. Rezipped. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Cheers, man. Nice. I think we've got it there. Two. Full metal jacket. The reckoning. Rezipped. Two. Two. The reckoning. The reckoning. Director's oh. uncut version. In full Snyder HD. Full Snyder HD. 1.88 to 1. Yeah, nice, man. Yeah, very nice. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the title to be longer, you know. You know, I just get that urge. That kind of like two yeah. brothers, Rick and Morty thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 But we're not going to reach that level of nah. so, notoriety. So it's fine. I think a short, snappy title that we've agreed on is fine. Yeah. Full Metal Jacket, Rezip 2, The Reckoning. Director's Uncut Snyder. Director's Snyder's, Snyder's HD. Ratio. Yeah. yeah, well, his Snyder Ratio. Yeah. HD. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think that, that's fine. On VHS only. Uh, only on VHS. Only on VHS. Yeah. Get it now at your local... Morrison's. Morrison. <laughs> Whoa. Morrison. Right next to the aisle. Yeah, and the uh, and that's all checkout. in the same size font. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the the VHS inside is tiny compared to the case. <laughs> is it? So you open up this huge yeah box a, like a two size folder. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, like, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah click, yeah. and then yeah. it's got to be what we're talking a one. Oh, at least. At least A1 size. And you open it up, and then yep. on the inside is like, do you remember you used to put your memory card in for the PS2 games? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, that'd be... With the VHS. Yeah, with, but with the VHS. And there's a full fold-out version of Vietnamese De Niro. <laughs> and on the back is the title. Again. Yeah, again. <laughs> again. Cool. Yeah. What's the colour scheme? Holographic. Nice. And the <laughs> Holographic scheme, and, horror. And the colour scheme for the film? Uh, I'm thinking blue. Mainly blue. Just blue. Just blue. Oh, yeah. for the... Just blue shifted the whole thing. Whoa, like slightly blue shifted, or like we're we talking saturated blue shifted. I'm talking fully saturated, like blue velvet blue. Sick man. Yeah, that's cool. I think so. I think I think that's a successful film. I think that's probably also dog shit, but fine. We've reached we've reached the end, guys. This is the end. This is well, not the end. We'll Which also happens to be the doors track in the opening sequence to Apocalypse Now. Well, we're ending on that. On that note. On that note, we're going. Ta-ra. Bye. Bye.